mental health. Uh, you can probably see from the video title, mental health has killed me, mental health has killed me. Wherever I've titled it to capture attention, I'm struggling with mental health. Now, before I start this video, it's not sponsored, advertised, none of that stuff. You don't have to like the video. Um, you don't even have to comment. I just want this to help you. Um, and if you do like the video, it might help somebody else in the future. That's the end of it. Me, I'm going through it at the moment. And I wanted to be honest to all of you and use this channel to actually talk to you about something I've struggled with for a long time. I feel like I only know I've struggled with it for a year, but when I look back, I've struggled with it for many years. How does mental health come about? Well, many factors. Number one, your life decisions. Number two, your life decisions. And number three, your life decisions. And of course, it would be wrong for me to say sometimes just the position in life we end up in. Some of those decisions are not our decisions, but most of the time you don't realize it, we put ourselves here. If you're going through mental health right now, we're both going through the same thing. And before you turn off this video and think, oh, here we go, this might help yourself, it might help somebody else that you know has mental health. In fact, you do know somebody who is struggling with mental health right now, it's me, Ben Phillips. Uh, I could have made this video after I'd got through mental health and been like, yeah, made it through mental health. Woo, so easy. What are you talking about? Just do this and be a wellness this and you'll be healthy and you'll be fine. I thought it was more relevant doing it. Um, and, and trust me, it's painful. In fact, I only said to my father a few days ago, Dad, you know if I ever disappear off this planet just for one moment, I don't wake up the next day or I'm gone, don't worry, I'm out of pain. It's quite a dark thing to say. But when you're in the midst of this, there's moments where you can't think of anything better than sadly taking your own life. That thought has entered my head more than you realise. Uh, there's a lot of famous celebrities, people out there, but what we don't highlight enough, everyday, amazing, hardworking, beautiful, incredible people out there. No matter what position in life they stand, no matter what status, verified, not verified, rich, broke, happy, unhappy, that actually lose their lives day to day from this exact situation. How do you explain mental health? Well, the picture I give you, a very spiky metal cage in a pitch black room while your ankles are in boiling hot lava and your brain is in a burning fury you can't see a way out of it and you'll do anything to end that pain. But any direction you go will end up in pain. Everyone has different ways they struggle with mental health. Um, one of my biggest hits is I suffer terribly with anxiety and panic attacks. Um, my panic attacks, the only way to explain to you, is almost like a demon has gripped my throat and I'm dealing with a cardiac arrest. A heart attack. It makes me, right now, this moment, insane. It makes me feel like it can come on. But I can't tell you the amount of nights that I'd be holding going like that, where I literally feel like I'm on a heart attack and I feel like it's the end. Of course, in doing that, you want to fill your brain with so much serotonin to stop yourself from having these pains that you do things like I did three years ago. I took on vaping. Well, nicotine doesn't exactly help the blood in the heart while you're having a panic attack. I took on drinking at one point. Drink doesn't exactly help your anxiety the day after. Um, and I did at one point take on drugs. Uh, I'm clean, thankfully, of drugs. Um, but being transparent to you, not clean of the vapes. Um, and I, I actually, I only drink now once a week, which will be with my friends, and it'll be two or three gin and tonics, specifically if you wanna buy me a drink. You are talking to Ben right now, not Ben Phillips. Yo guys, what's going on? Hit the like button, subscribe, turn notifications on comment below, hashtag sorry bro. Complete two different people. So I just want to make that clear. You're not talking to the YouTuber, Facebooker, TikToker, wherever the hell you want to call me. You're talking to Ben. Um, so, nice to meet you. But yeah, I, I felt like it was very important to make this video about mental health because I, I know so many of you are struggling with it because my DMs are flooded with how many of you are struggling with it. Um, and I know that my videos have helped a lot of you get through situations 
and you I, I may have been someone that you've always looked up to or someone that's always helped you in time. I, I know factually these videos have helped you because I get messaged, you know, we my loved ones watching you on their deathbed. I watched you while I was depressed. I watched you while I was going through a breakup. I watched you while I lost someone I was very close to. Or I just watched you on the sofa with my family. Or I watch you because you're funny or you make me laugh. I know you've done that. Um, but I want to reach out to the particular ones of you with mental health issues and say to you, you're not alone. And if I was your hero, then hey, even your hero bleeds the same way as you do. And I'm struggling. So kind of away from that part of it, why am I making this video? Just to kind of relate to you. Um, let's get real, guys. For me, I've had a shit roller coaster. Um, don't get me wrong, life has dealt me a better hand of cards than most of you. I'm saying that honestly. But when the devil's got blackjack, we're all screwed. And uh, the last three years, the devil's had blackjack. Um, if you don't understand that, basically, if it's, if it's tough, it's tough. And there's nothing you can do over that. Um, and of course, you might go, but Ben, you've got all these nice cars, nice houses, you've had all this money, you've got all these likes and followers, and everyone loves you. I'm still a human. And I couldn't be any more human than sitting here telling you my faults. Because I don't think enough people do it. And I think everyone covers it up until it's too late. And I want to tell you right now, if you're watching this video, and you're thinking, oh yeah, I did struggle with that the other day. Or I did struggle with that last week or a month ago. I'm okay now. This doesn't relate to me. Hear me out. This is for you if you come back to this video. If you're going through the situation right now, and you've come back here to watch this video, because you're having a moment right now, then just text somebody. For God's sake, go on a random chat room on the internet. There's enough kind souls that will respond to you and help you right now. I'm not saying talk to strangers, but talk to anybody. That'll help you. Start with your family, then your friends. Maybe then a Samaritan helpline or something. And if worse, then a stranger. A problem shared is a problem halved. And I wish I halved my problems a long time ago. But unfortunately, my problems of times 1,000 now. In, in going through this entire journey, FYI disclaimer, sorry about my ticks and my eyes, they're just going off the radar because this shit makes me feel uncomfortable talking about it and screws me up. Um, but I feel like it was, it, it's just that like we're all going through it, guys. We're all going through it. And um, this has been the hardest, the big, I, I never get sick. I never get sick. And I realized that I, I'm sick. Right now, I, I feel like I'm sane. Why am I making this video? It's currently 12 o'clock at night. Normally, the dark thoughts hit your head when you're at night or you're on your own. At the moment, I'm on my own. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's a weekend. I hate the weekends because I don't get to see anybody. I don't do anything. Um, because me and my best friends work from Monday to Friday. We see each other Monday to Friday. And then Saturday, Sunday is the few days we take away from each other. Um, but... The dark thoughts come now. I feel like telling you now is me being just real and saying to you, yo, this, this sucks. This sucks. Maybe about seven months ago, this would be the moment that I uncontrollably could not stop thinking of a way to take my life. I can't tell you. Uh, you it's something you can't explain. Where you almost go so blank, there's no return. And somehow... Whether it be God or it just be pure love, my father would ring me there and then. And my dad would just bring me out of this zone. He'd know I'm upset. He's my father. That's his job. Um, ouch. <laughs> uh, but he'd ring me and put me out of that situation. And, and I think, you know, this horrible maze in your brain that controls you call mental health is disgusting. And... and, and these adverts they make saying, no, oh, mental health is... Some of the adverts are brilliant, but no one's grasping it. No one's grasping it. The government aren't grasping it. The social media platforms certainly aren't grasping it. On a one-to-one -one level with you as users, I'm sorry, this is not aimed specifically at a platform, but as a one-to-one -one level with you as viewers and users, they're not grasping it. And even with us as creators, ah... Uh, I can tell you some of the background stories of talking about platforms about 
seven, six, five, and four years ago, moments where we had just freshly become you know, very, very big on the internet, these platforms decided to demonetize us. That used to be a joke thing. Oh, you're demonetized, you're monetized. It's a serious thing. It ruined a lot of creators' lives. <clears throat> While we were entertaining the planet, making you smile, we were getting told in the background, you can't do that, can't do that. So we're going to take everything away from you and make you slaves. But that's not, that's not a story. That's a different video. There's a story I want to share with you guys that's quite important to me um, that I tell a few people. There's a man and there's a doctor. A man goes to the doctor. He says, doctor, I can't smile or laugh anymore. Nothing makes me laugh anymore. The doctor goes, what's wrong with you, boy? What do you mean nothing makes you laugh anymore? He says, nothing makes me laugh, doctor. Oh, so you're telling me you haven't seen the new Netflix documentary and it didn't make you laugh? Well, yeah, I watched it, but it didn't make me laugh. Have you ever read a joke book, son? Yeah, I've read a joke book. It doesn't make me laugh. Doesn't your wife make you laugh? Or husband, whatever the case that is, if you're a lady. Yes, nothing makes me laugh. If, if something made me laugh, doctor, I wouldn't be here. Hmm. Doctor grabs a piece of paper, gets a pen, starts writing down. This year, boy, is the funniest clown on the planet, and he just happens to be in town this week. If this clown can't make you laugh, my boy, then you need to leave this planet tomorrow, and you know what I mean. End it. Gives the piece of paper to the man. The man looks at the address, and the gentleman closes the piece of paper and says, that's the problem, doctor. I'm only in town this week, and I am the clown. Why do I tell you the story? Well, for a long time, my job has been to make you and billions and billions of people laugh. And my job has been to be the clown. Along with Elliot, of course. My job has been to be the clown for a long time. And I'm at the point where nothing makes me laugh. That's fine. That's my situation. That's my issue. But I couldn't have been given a better gift in life than to have the gift of giving someone laughter. I'm not going all religious on you, but it does say in the Bible, there's more joy in giving than receiving. And I definitely prefer giving what I can back in every aspect of life. So it brings this video. I wanted to give you my weakness. I wanted to show you my weaknesses. Uh, you can see I'm all over the place now. Here's the place. I'm sweating because the radiators are on boiling. Should have turned the heating off before this video. But I think it's important to talk about this one-to-one, -one, um, those situations. So many people right now you don't even know are on the edge and nearly giving up. So the least you can do is give them your time before they give up. And all of these scenarios that I mentioned combined into one are a lot more than what I'm telling you. Committing suicide in business is something I've done for myself. I spent every penny I had in 42 days on a bender, trying to cure this. That's not gonna help. I went through a relationship breakup. I had problems in work with different colleagues who were best friends, where I argued to the point that I lost my friends. I took a wrong corner. And maybe this happened to you guys. Maybe it was an argument, maybe it was a breakup, maybe it was a financial situation. Whatever it was, an illness even, I sympathize for you and I really hope that you find your way out of this. And as I told you earlier on in the video, if you are back here watching this video, please do something about it. Maybe make a video yourself, store it on your phone, watch it in two days time, reflect on yourself two days ago and go, I don't want to be there anymore. I want to move past this person and move forward. One of my biggest issues is, is literally how conscious I am about me. Uh, my weight problems, I yo-yo up and down, yo-yo up and down. It doesn't stop me pulling ladies though, you know. I am a 10 out of 10. Don't get me wrong, I'm a god. This body is a temple. Jokes aside, my weight issues. I can't even take my t-shirt off. You might go, what? I can't take my t-shirt off in public. By a public swimming pool or nothing, because I can't stand the sight of my own body. When I get the 17 stone eating stone, love myself. Oh, call me Ronaldo. Cristiano Phillips. But in general, I hate myself. That doesn't help. The first thing I look in the morning is a something I hate. Why do I hate myself? Because I haven't even learned to love myself internally. 
And I do have some friends who are, let's say, not six pack gods. But they don't care because they've learned to love inside internally. Talking about friends. You might have friends that hit you up that you don't realise are hitting you up. I had one of my friends recently hit me up who told me off. Said, you don't care about me. I'm here for you. I find it very disrespectful. You can't even respond to me. I sat in that message for six more days before I respond to him. How's that up in the problem? He's there trying to help me and I can't even respond. This video is currently 15 minutes. I am aware of that. And I haven't cut this video to make it completely pure and original. Um, and, I'm, and, I, and I thank you so much if you're still here watching this video. And I'm sorry if you're watching this going, whoa, I didn't realise that. Um, I don't need everyone running to my aid. I mentioned that I was going through the situation last year on Instagram as I was heavily intoxicated on white wine. Three for 50 quid in Tesco. It was a bargain. But I was heavily intoxicated on white wine and I um, posted what I felt and what I thought and a lot of you come to my aid. Um, and I tried all the professional help routes and stuff. And I seem to keep finding myself the same battle. I'm in a boat of my own. How can anyone relate to my life? What, what professional can relate to my life? Or counsellor? Not many. This is a difficult one. But that doesn't mean it's the same for you. You should seriously seek professional help. Seek help, you know, from people talking. Um, I personally haven't taken any medication for this stuff or anything. Uh, I, I refuse to personally. It doesn't have to be your choice. I refuse to. Um, my, my panic attacks are severe 100 out of 10 scale that I should be taking medication, but I just want to fight this. I'm, I'm enduring it and taking it on, you know? I, I, I need to heal naturally for my brain to know that I did it naturally so there's no more devices. I have to quit vaping, like I said. I feel like that's a device that I go to straight away. Um, and that's very rich coming from me because, you know, I've, uh, I, yeah, how can I say that when I'm practicing, I'm not even practicing my breach. I just want to get real with you guys. I'm going to start making more videos here. Talking about, thank you Beast and Storm for interrupting this video. I did say we continue this video the whole way. Shut up! I'm trying to do a mental health video. Stop. We're just at the end. Just two minutes. Please. Don't have dogs if you've got mental health. And I'm joking. That's also a very important thing. If you're lonely on your own, then have your pets around you. If you've got a pet, hold on to your pet. They have been there when I've been upset, when I've been down the dumps. They have licked my tears away. I've held them. If you don't have a pet, borrow someone's dog or cat. Just for God's sake, don't steal one off the street. All right? Don't. You can adopt one. Those little new adventures, doing stuff that's going to get your brain out of the same hole in every day will help you. Making a video, maybe baking a cake, drawing a piece of art, starting a new adventure with a new job, going out for a walk, adopting a dog or a cat, purchasing a dog or a cat. Maybe playing some games is your fix. But don't get stuck in a world that's not going to help you. Deal with your problems in the real world. And that's something I've had to learn. I can't fix my problems in here. Ironically, while recording this video. But you know I've never recorded a video like this. Where I'm raw and straight out to you. So I'm not one to really deal with advice right now. I'll be able to give out advice. Because I'm still in the thick of it. But one friend said to me. You're no longer in the dark of the woods. You can see light coming through the trees. And that's true. I can see light coming through the trees. But I've got to get fully through it. And until we're out of those woods, then there's no real moving forward. But upwards and onwards. And thank you for listening to this. Um, I, I hope in some way this gave you light on my life. I hope that it helps someone out there. And I love every single one of you. And thank you for supporting me. Thank you for being there over the years. And thank you... For always having my back, no matter what. And I was just watching these videos. It's mean a hell of a lot to me. So, on that note, it could be worse. You could be me. Sorry, bro. Jokes. Well, I don't.
that was weird, sorry. 